How's it going, YouTube? Here we are with my brand new to me 2019 Honda Grom. I just bought it from this guy and uh, just came to the store to buy some things. And we're about to see if it's a good idea or not to take it on the highway. The good thing is, if it's not a good idea, we only have to go one exit. The bad thing is, if it's a bad idea, it's rush hour, so we might get some people pissed with our slow ass speed. One thing that I do know is that the this Grom has an aftermarket chain and sprocket. I don't know if it's made to give it more torque or if it's made to give it more top end speed. But we're about to find out I guess, huh? It might be a terrible idea. But let's see how it goes. I think comparing the speedometer to my GPS on my phone, it was showing, the speedometer was showing more miles. Than I was actually doing. So right now it shows 55, but I'm probably only doing like 50. Let's see if we can even get up to highway speeds. I'm gonna stay in third gear. You can probably hear it, but it has a, some cheap aftermarket exhaust. It looks like carbon. I don't know if you can see that. But it looks like carbon fiber. But I don't know if it is. It came with it. Here we go. Full throttle. 4952, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, red line there. Oh boy. Full throttle. It says 71, 72, but I doubt it. The good thing is. I 
with it and how much fuel it used up to do an average MPG test but until then I'll just have to ride it around is this lady giving me space to get in front of her I think she's just on her phone Yep. Just on our phone, driving a Prius. The stereotypes don't lie. Do -do -do -do. I'm driving a Grom. I don't know what the stereotypes for Groms are, but they're probably true. No, I was already. I keep forgetting it has four gears, and I'm looking for that next gear all the time, and then it just doesn't go anywhere. anywhere because no one will even see you unless you're the only one on the road. is quick, acceleration is slow, like you could give a gas and dump the clutch and nothing happens, like you won't pop a wheelie or anything like that. It's going to be hard to fall with this bike unless, like I said, you're just doing something stupid. And I think that led us to like, this bike being the perfect bike for a starter, a new, a new rider. Great commuter if you don't have to take the highway <coughs> with the 135 mpgs. If you do have to take the highway, hopefully you live in a place like this in Ohio where the speed limits are mostly 60. Unless you're going more south where it's more country where the speed limit increases to 70. But on the, the 60 speed limit. I think you'll be just fine. You could go to work with it. Just try to not redline it as many times as I did in one exit. Said, subscribe. 